Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Lorix 2K QHD Wi-Fi video doorbell. This is a brand new doorbell and it's available for pre-order and shipping starts on February 15th. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. And make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, you could visit our Amazon store, which I'll put in the description below. Like all my other videos, we're gonna start by unboxing the Lorix 2K video doorbell, and then we'll get into some of the specs and then the setup. So this is the Lorix 2K video doorbell camera, and we can see right on the front that it supports dual band Wi-Fi for the 2.4 and the five gigahertz band. We could also see that there's no monthly fees attached to this video doorbell, which I really like. On the back is showing you, you could download the Lorex Home app from the App Store, Apple TV, or Google Play. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. On top of the box, there's a 2K QHD video doorbell quick start guide. And then we also have it in a couple different languages, so French and I think this is Spanish. They also include a couple Lorex video stickers, so video surveillance stickers that you can put on your front and back door. And then it comes with the Lorex limited product warranty. Then right up front we have the video doorbell, which is in uh, some plastic wrapping, and I'll take that out. And that's a pretty nice looking doorbell. On the front we have a ring button. And then we have our lens, which is covered by a plastic protective wrap. On the back, we have a few holes, which would be for mounting. And then this orange label says, only connect terminals to wiring from doorbell with a voltage of 16 VAC to 24 VAC. And I'll go ahead and pull that off and that will expose the terminals. And then on the back here, we have where our micro SD card is. And then we have a micro USB slot. We could open up the micro SD slot and here we could see our micro SD card as well as a reset button. This comes with the micro SD card. Let's see what size of the SD card they give us. And it comes with the Western Digital Purple 32 gigabit SD card. Let's see what else comes in the box. It comes with a couple different mounting options. So let's open this up. And these are different mounting brackets. So this one would be used for flat and then for your angles. It also includes a chime kit. Comes with the micro USB cord as well as a drill bit that we'll need to drill into our brick. And then a couple more wires for our terminals on the back of our doorbell, as well as some mounting gear. And that's it, that comes in the box. Let's go to the computer and look at some of the specs of the Lorex doorbell. Now that we've seen what comes in the box, let's go over some of the specs of the Lorex doorbell camera. But I'd first like to thank Lorex for sending me this doorbell camera to do my review and video setup. So first thing, this video doorbell camera is $179.99 MSRP USD. It comes with a one year warranty, but you could also purchase a three year and a five year. It works with Google Assist and Alexa. We have 2K QHD resolution that's more than two times 1080p HD. It has 164 degree field of view and it includes the 32 gigabit Western Digital purple SD card. The max capacity for this doorbell is a 256 gigabit SD card. You can set up pre-recorded messages. The doorbell has a light on the bottom that will activate when it notices motion. It has color night vision, which we'll test out and you guys will see it in this video. And there's no monthly fee. That's the biggest thing for me. I could have all my data stored locally. We could set up smart detection. So when the doorbell notices a person come into our view, it will send us an alert. The doorbell comes with two-way talk. You could also deter unwanted guests with a built-in siren within the doorbell. Before going outside, we're gonna get this Lorex doorbell into our Lorex Home application. So what you need to do, you need to go to either the Google Play Store on Android or your Apple App Store and type in Lorex Home. And it will be the one at the top, Lorex Home. I already have it downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. If you don't have an account, you're gonna to have to sign up for an account. I already have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, now it says tap to add your first device. So we'll press the plus button and then we'll press okay. 
And now it's looking for the QR code from the back of our doorbell camera. It is also on the box as well. I'm gonna scan it from the back of the camera. Now it said, we found your device and it shows you your device ID and we're gonna press next. Now it's gonna go through the setup saying, before you continue, please turn off any power to the doorbell in the chime box from the breaker box. And it gives you a couple different setup videos. Now it's asking you to join the Lorex Wi-Fi, which will press join. Now we're connected to the Lorex Wi-Fi. It's cut off my phone from being broadcasted onto the computer, but it says device password. So we need to create a password for your device. And this is for our Lorex doorbell camera. I'll go ahead and put in a password and then we'll press next. And next it says select your Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna put it on my Mac telecom camera network. We select the Wi-Fi network and enter the password. And now it says setup almost complete. When your doorbell LED turns solid green, tap next. This could take up to 60 seconds. Mine's green, so we'll tap next. As you can see, the device was successfully added. Now the Lorex Home app is asking us which type of chime we want to set up. So they have a few different types. We have electrical chime, we have a mechanical chime, and they also have a Wi-Fi chime. I'm not going to set any up at this moment, and I'll press skip. Now it says device successfully added. Create a name for the, your new Lorex device, and it's gonna be for my front door. And then I'll press complete. Now you guys can see right up here, this is where our doorbell camera is. Right now it's just sitting on my desk. We could press play, and this will give us our live view. Camera's just sitting on my desk. We are gonna mount it to my front door, but I wanna show you a few things before we do that. If we press this button here, this will activate the siren, and the siren goes off for 30 seconds. It says, are you sure you want to enable the camera siren? The siren is loud and should only be activated if necessary, and we'll press OK. And you guys could hear the siren and that should deter people. It also has a light function, which is in the bottom middle. I'll turn it on and you guys should see the light come on on the bottom of the doorbell. And as you can see, the light came on and the light does come on if it notices motion. Now let's go out, get this hooked up at the front door, and then we'll go over some more settings. We're at my front doorbell. I have uh, the mount here. We already had uh, screw holes done. The This is our doorbell cable. So we're just gonna put the mount over top of them. And then we wanna make sure that the holes align and then we could screw this in. Okay, now our doorbell mount is on. We wanna make sure that the breaker is off for our transformer for our doorbell cables. Then we need to put the cables onto the terminals. And then once it's on the terminal, we could just screw it down. Now with the cables connected to the terminals, we could push back onto the mounting bracket. Okay, now it's mounted. We need to turn the transformer on and then the camera should come up. Now our front doorbell camera is set up on the front of our house. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the picture is very clear. We could tell that we're in HD by this little HD mark in the middle. We could switch that to standard definition if we want just by pressing it. And that will turn us to standard definition. I'm gonna bring it back to high def. Beside that toggle switch, we have a microphone which would allow us to hear what's going on outside of our doorbell. The button beside the microphone is to go into full screen mode. If we look down at this camera icon, that will take a snapshot of what's currently happening. So I'll go ahead and click that. And then it will save that footage. The middle button is to turn the microphone on. This would be for the two-way talk. And if we want to record what's happening on screen right now, we would hit this button. Like I described before we put this out, the next button will be our siren. So that will be an active deterrent siren, which will go off for 30 seconds. Also, this would be the outdoor light if we want to turn it on or off. This light will also go on when there's motion at your front door. Now we can take a look at some of the more advanced features. If we go to the three dots in the right hand corner. Right now we could see it says front door. We could click on that and it will give us a device photo. It will give us the device name, which we could set to whatever we want. It will give us a channel name, the device model, the device ID, which includes the QR code, the device label, and the device password if we need to change it. 
It's going to show us which firmware the doorbell camera is currently running on. We could go and select notifications and then we could schedule when we want to have notifications on as well as push notification thumbnails. We could change the motion detection settings. Right now motion detection is on, person detection is on, and person detection sensitivity is set to medium, but we could change that to low or high if we'd like. We could also change the motion sensitivity. Right now it's on three, which is the middle ground, but we could have it on five if we wanna have an increased motion sensitivity. And then we could look at some of the light settings. The active deterrence light on detection is turned on right now. The deterrent light mode is currently set to solid, but you could have it flashing. If we have it on flashing, it will send out some bright strobe type lights. And then we could set up our motion zones and we'll go to general motion zones. So wherever you see blue grid, that's gonna be where the motion zone is. If we wanna take away some of the motion zone, we're gonna hit this little erase button and take it away. So now the only motion zone is right in the middle of the camera. We could also take a look at person motion zones, and this is gonna be the motion zone for where you want it to detect people. Right now it's the full lens, but we could change that so it's just the first front steps of our front door by just dragging the blue corners and setting the motion zone to where we want. Now it will only detect people with the motion zone in this blue area. The next setting will be our video setting. It has HDR on, which is high dynamic range optimizes video picture in high contrast conditions such as underlit or overlit areas. And then it has our video quality, which is set to medium 1080p HD. I'm gonna set that to high, so two times 1080p HD and press save. Next, we have our sound settings. So we could change the siren volume. Right now it's set to three, but we could set it to five, which is the highest it would go. It also has two-way talk volume which is set to the highest by default it could go. We could also look at our device storage. We could see we have 29.71 gigabits left on the SD card and there's 0.14 gigabits that have been used. And then we have auto night vision. Disabling auto night vision will force the camera into color mode recommended in low light conditions. And we'll test that out when it gets dark outside. Now, if we wanna share this doorbell with anybody else, we wanna go down to shared users. Here you could share your camera with friends and family members and give them access to live views, recordings, and more. So we could add a shared user. Here we could give them all permissions or we could just give them certain permissions to live viewing, camera functions, activities, and so on. But to be able to share this with your friends or families, they need to be signed up with a Lorex Home account. You would be typing in their email that is associated with their Lorex Home account. So that's the overview of the camera. I'm pretty happy with how easy this camera was to install and the quality of the doorbell camera. Now we need to wait for nighttime so that we could see the night vision. All right, now it's nighttime where I live and you could see the night vision from the Lorex doorbell camera and it's actually pretty good. The infrared LEDs within this are super bright and we could also zoom in to specific spots that we want and it still looks good. We could turn off the night vision so that it forces it to use color mode and let's go ahead and do that. So we'll click on the three dots and then we'll go to the auto night vision and we'll turn that off. And you guys could see how colorful that video quality is. At the front of the house, it is pretty dark. We don't have any front lights on at this point. So this gives us a great color picture even at nighttime. So my final thoughts on this camera, I think it's reasonably priced. And my favorite feature on it is the local storage. A lot of companies now with their doorbell cameras, they're forcing you to use their cloud storage and they're also forcing you to pay for that cloud storage. With this camera, you could put in a 256 gigabit SD card and save everything locally. If you guys have any questions about this doorbell, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.